Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This, believe it or not, constitutes Friday's video, not Saturday's. I did not skip a day. I have simply been up, oh my goodness, for over 24 hours. Um, silly and stupid, but that's my sleep schedule. So, when I don't have to do the official job, I do YouTube stuff, I do video game stuff, I have fun, I lose track of time, and yes, yeah, so with, with that being said, I didn't, like, skip you guys. I just, this is the end of my day, finally, and who knows how long I'll sleep. So, which means Sunday I will be doubling up on my work. Um, I'm not skipping a day or, well, at least not on YouTube. I'll be skipping a day in sleep, but not on YouTube. I will make sure that the videos are there, preaching and otherwise. So, let's hop into 1 Kings chapter 6, where Solomon builds the temple of the Lord. And this thing, guys, is, is huge. Just Google how big a cube it is. And look at some of the measurements that are listed within, well, let's just go with verses 2 and 3. Now, the house which King Solomon built for the Lord, its length was 60 cubits, its width 20, and its height 30 cubits. The vestibule in front of the sanctuary of the house was 20 cubits long across the width of the house, and the width of the vestibule extended 10 cubits from the front of the house. And he made for the house, window, house windows with beveled frames. And then you read over in, where, oh, what, what, come on, what, I just read it. I just read this chapter, where is it? Verse 30, and the floor of the temple he overlaid with gold, both the inner and outer sanctuaries. And then you back up to verse 22, the whole temple he overlaid with gold until he had finished all the temple. Also, he overlaid with gold the entire altar that was by the inner sanctuary. This thing was huge, and the entire thing had a layer of gold over all of it. That is absolutely insane. Just to top all of this off, verse 38, And in the eleventh year, in the month of Bull, which is the eighth month, the house was finished in all its details and according to all its plans. So he was seven years in building it. Now, I know they didn't have modern technology. They didn't have modern machinations. But seven years to one building speaks of the... The, just the sheer breadth and magnitude of what it was that he was undertaking to be built and have built. Um, the number of workers were mentioned in a previous chapter, and it was j tens of thousands. My gosh. <laughs> Two messages here. One, if you're going to serve the Lord, do it with all your heart and go all out. Don't hold anything back. And Solomon did that to a T here. Oh my goodness gracious. And number two, whatever you're going to undertake, do it right. Like, take your time on it, plan it out, get all your resources together. I know I jumped into YouTube and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Leave me alone and don't take, don't do what I say and not what I do here. Okay, okay. Good, glad we got that out of the way. Um, so, Make sure it is well planned. Make sure you're in it to win it. Make sure you go in just full throttle. You're throwing in everything. You know what? I did do that part. I've done YouTube all the way. I haven't given up. I haven't backed down. I have no intention of backing down anytime soon. I just figured the best way to actually get into it and learn how to do it was to do it. So that was the plan. Make all the mistakes in the world possible. Because even when I learn how to do stuff, I make all the mistakes in the world possible for anyway. So I did YouTube, right? No, I what you're doing. And this is not going like a normal Bible message does at all. This is sleep deprivation at its finest, my freaks and fellow ladies and gentlemen. Who am I kidding? This video has gone weird and strange. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.